Alrighty here, Jasmine here, Spiritual Life Coach and Tarot Oracle Reader. This reading is going to be for Libra. Okay, it is a collective reading, so if it doesn't resonate, please feel free to check out other placements. Definitely put, book um, a private reading with me. My information is in the description box in the post below. Please comment, like my... Um, Go ahead and take the time to like my um, business page, The Elements of Fate. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if it resonates or if you want to support. I do appreciate all the support that has come in. Um, just know that the energies can be flipped or reversed. Please place it in your life as it resonates. If it does not resonate, um, then it, it doesn't. Um, and then again, I will be able to read the individual in the energies individually for you if you go ahead and um, again look in the description and the post you will see the link to my uh, website the elements of fate.com okay so let's jump right into the current energy for libra spirit there is a libra full moon so this is going to be greatly affecting you guys you guys have the excuse me you guys have um some of you guys have a love returning, okay? So there could be love, a lover returning, a love returning in your relationship. Uh, I feel like things are going to get fired up here, especially next week. Um, a lot of the parents are having sex, right? They're getting along. They're making love um, here. And I do see a lot of fiery energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius. Um, what is the other fire sign? Aries. All right, so let's jump right in, okay? Some of you guys are being influenced by a fire sign. What's going on within the current energy of Libra? Temperance. Everybody's getting the temperance card. So it's calling in. And this is, when when I see this in um, a lot of the regions, the same card coming out, okay? That means that the planets, the astrological plane is really affecting us with time here and patience, Okay calmness healing okay so right now there's healing going on okay all right there's a cycle completing and healing is going on uh you you uh this feels like you guys have a uh, higher uh playing uh, uh, angels looking after your situation here um let's take a look at the challenges with crossing you or um with influencing this What's the challenge or the influence here for Libra? All right, so it looks like um, it, it's telling you right here the influence is to let go, okay? Let go and let God. That's what I'm getting for you. So the situation that may be trying, and it's so crazy because when I say let go and let God, because um, that's the energy that I feel, I see the cross here, okay? The top half is kind of cut off, but this is like angel energy. So it feels like there's a lot of healing going on here. Okay, there's a situation that has been trying and taxing, and it, it feels like that there's a release that needs to happen, and th that you need to release control, relinquish control here. What's on your mind, Libra? What's on Libra's mind? So it feels like your family is on your mind. Maybe you have to relinquish control when it comes to surroundings of your family. It's so funny because I've seen the Ten of Cups in that family, and then the other family comes out the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So it looks like you have to relinquish control when it comes to your family or your child, maybe your marriage here, okay? So it's like you're relinquishing control and healing is going to happen as you relinquish that control. This is kind of telling me you've done all that you needed to do, okay? And things are going to build up. Um, you, it feels like you planted the seed that you need to plant and things are going to work out. And it, out, it feels like if you were in disconnect with someone, you're going to be in connect here. So it feels like you're hopeful and it's good because spirit is definitely saying that, um, you should be. So you could be feeling this energy very vibrant and within your spirit. Uh, why is this happening? Okay. So this is happening because maybe it has to do with your work energy. So some of you could be looking to balance out work life and home life here. And you're like, look, I'm doing the best that I can do. Okay. I've done the work. I'm, I'm, I'm putting in the work, right? You could be putting in the work with your family, your husband, uh, your job. So it's like, 
just relinquishing control. Look, I'm going to leave it up to God to fill in the holes, okay? Because when you've done everything that you can do, that's all that you can do is, is let the divine have faith and let the divine fill in the holes. So um, what's in the past energy for Libra? What's in the past energy for Libra? Let's shuffle one more time. Okay. All righty. So we have the queen of pentacles. This could be male or female. So in the past, um, it looks like someone was giving and someone was trying hard um, to put in time, effort, energy, nurturing, uh, a, a perhaps a affection, the best way that they knew how. At the bottom of the deck, it looks like you were trying to give to everyone. Maybe you have a, a bunch of children here. Maybe you're just trying to give a lot to your family. And it's like, I, I, look, at this point, I've, I've given and let everything set in. It looks like you you could be connecting with an earth sign here as well, a water sign, a Sagittarius or um, a Pisces here. But it does feel like you've given all that you can give. And it's not like a negative energy behind it. It's just like I've, I've given all I can give. Um... And it is, I just heard, be careful of trying to influence people with money or trying to get people to like you with money, um, like overdoing it. Oh, I could give you this or to, to buy someone. It feels like be careful of trying to buy the liking of your child. So you can be like working a lot and then, you know, you have someone, you have that worker who's working a lot and then they come home and they just like, oh, well, I got this money. I was actually talking to someone and was like, they were like, um, all I do is provide my children with money. I don't video time with them because when I was a child, all I wanted was money. I was just like, that sounds stupid because today we know children need so much more than just time. They need time. They need nurturing. They need affection. So it just feels like be careful if you're you're trying to make up by giving like money or something like that. OK, it's important to give time, nurture, affection, listen, talk. You know, um, know someone's love language. Also, I have a book that's uh, the love language of children. So that can be a thing that you can look into. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo here because there's all these um, pinnacles. So um, the future here, um, you you could be, again, relaxing, going within, okay? Um, knowing that you've done all that you've done. Again, it's, this is a real big energy of looking to the higher divine for support and knowing that, hey, I can't do this all on my own own and having faith um, with that. <clears throat> Some of you could even be looking to go to church. Um, maybe someone's asking you to go to church. Um, maybe someone's telling you, hey, you need to get back in church. How do you feel about yourself in the situation or the situation alone? You feel like you're waiting. So you have prayed. You have tried all you can do. So you're just waiting. You're just allowing the this, this things to come in. Um, you're allowing um, either someone needs to talk. It could be that you you closed down or not really closed down, but you, you, you decided to say, hey, I completed the task that I needed to, so I'm just going to wait, okay? High priestess, okay? Unexpected influences, okay? Something that is not known to you will be revealed, okay? So keep your eye out. So it's funny because it's the high priestess. This is the person that holds all secrets of the planet, right? So it's, it's saying that it's unknown. So Spirit's saying that you don't need to know, but be aware that there's some unexpected influences that are unknown that will be revealed to you in due time. So that's kind of interesting return. So there's a lot of you who are looking for a return, okay? You could be looking for your tax return, okay? So the tax return is going to come. So I look, it, look, it feels like you're waiting. You could be waiting for your tax return here. That's, that's what I'm getting, okay? Um, someone could be returning, okay? Some of you could be returning back to church for some reason. I'm really getting this because this, uh, this reminds me, I don't, I don't know if this is a... I don't think this is the star of David, but it's reminding me of church. Like someone could be returning back to church, like a, a, a godly sanctuary or returning back to their faith. Because if you look, there's this higher, 
a dimensional divine being here, godlike energy, and that's what I've been feeling all through here. This is very uh godlike energy here. What's in your um um oh that was in your hopes and fears. So you're looking you hope for your tax return to come. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Um, the outcome, it, it, whatever you're waiting for, it's going to happen here, especially with that wand card is manifesting here. It just feels like the universe is balancing things out for you. Okay. Checks and balances are happening. If you're waiting for something, maybe it's still being reviewed. Checks and balances is what I got with this, um, two of pinnacles card. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you guys are definitely dealing with the, uh, it's a lot of you are dealing with the Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo here because it's heavy, heavy energy of earth energy here, okay? And not only just that, a lot of you are putting a lot of work in, okay? I feel like you guys are doing all that you can do. This was in the reverse. Um, but I do feel like the outcome is going to be whatever you've been working hard on, okay? Whatever you've been growing your home, okay? Um, whatever you're growing, you're going, you're, you feel like you haven't seen the benefits of what you're growing, but you will, okay? You will, okay? Be careful of um, this devil energy and the sneaky energy here. There's someone around you. This could be like a mother here that um, is strategizing. Um, and because there's so many mon 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 so much money here, there could be someone who's looking to take your money or looking to take over your household or looking to... Um, disconnect you in some type of way um someone could be just there's people out there who just like to to come in your environment and suck you dry of what you are because i see you here the empress libra energy um then you have uh scorpio energy here then you have this energy here of someone like puppeting you manipulating you to say hey um can you give me that or maybe they're coming up with a very manipulative way to convince you to give them something. So just be mindful of that. There's nothing wrong with asking for something. But when it's from like a lower level way, you can feel it in the pit of your solar plexer. Like this doesn't feel right. I feel like this person is playing with me. Quit playing with me like that. I feel like this person is puppeting you and tugging on your emotions here. By using certain wordplay that is going to trigger you. Be mindful if you're doing that or if someone's doing that to you. Alrighty, Libra, think of some questions here. We'll go ahead and pull three. If I pull, feel drawn to pull a more of the uh, Axe Universe cards, I will. Okay, so what else for Libra? What additional um, answers do we have or guidance answers that, or advice do we have for uh, Libra? I've seen a huge yes. So yes, you're, you're doing the right thing. Um, you've done what you need to do. What is yours is yours. So like I said, someone's trying to trick you as if like what you, what you have grown, you didn't grow on your own. Um, but you know, we do have help, but don't let someone invalidate you. That's what I'm getting. What else? Someone could be trying to invalidate your performance. Okay. That's what I got. I didn't even want to say performance, but I was like pushed to say that very possible okay so if you think someone is toying with you playing with you manipulating with you it's very possible and it's here okay if you think um you need to check in on uh your faith that which is higher it's very possible okay if you think that you put in all that you need to it's very possible um if someone could be judging you harshly that that's possible so yes I feel like, yes, you've done all that you can do and too clouded. So I feel like if someone's trying to manipulate you, they're trying to manipulate you um, in a way that your mind is clouded, that, that's a devil energy. So again, um, you could be, uh, your mind could be clouded due to, you can get manipulated easily due to emotional attachments by a mate, lover, 
uh, a child, a close friend. Um, so be mindful of that, of having a clear mind. It is a good time to meditate as well when this comes in, especially Libra. Your um, energy right now is a great time to release, right? Uh, recognize, release adjust some things okay so you can clear out the clouded mind the cloudiness and bring forth anew with this full moon energy and make sure when the new moon comes around you're able to plant those intentional seeds in the dark so they can blossom um throughout the lunar cycle um let's get one additional advice here some guidance advice here for libra thank you so much spirit for your divine your divinity. Extremes. Okay, so some of you feel like you got to... This is very Mars energy, right? I'm getting hot, bothered. So some, some of you feel like you got to go through the... to the Y'all got to go into the extreme in the bedroom. You guys could be having some extreme sex, okay? Piping it up. Self-reflection. So some of you guys are looking and reviewing things. You guys are already reviewing things, right? You guys are already looking at yourself, right? Some of you guys are looking at in a reflection, um, trying to visualize um, what you need to change about yourself. But one of the best things that I, I've learned is that loving yourself exactly how you are and, and telling yourself positive things. I don't care what size you are, if you're too skinny, too small, you got knock knees, you're bow-legged, you split ends, um, whatever it may be, acting on your face, love yourself in that existence, in that being, and bring love to that so you can heal yourself with love. You don't want to be at war with your body, okay? That's what I'll say, and I'll leave you with that. Again, if you're looking for a private reading, the information's in the post. Please like, comment, subscribe, share it to my YouTube channel, The Elements of Fate, and I'm over and out.